Hello guys, today I want to introduce you to a new version release of our new package Lara Starters, which I've talked about previously on this channel, to generate a new Laravel project with some theme based on starter kit like Breeze or Laravel UI. And today we released a new version that generates inertia versions, inertia themes, with Laravel Breeze. So there is a new release, 1.2 version called Inertia Breeze Themes. And now if you install the package on a fresh Laravel project and you run PHP Artists and Laravel Starters install, it used to show you two options of Laravel Breeze or Laravel UI as a starter kit. Now there's the third option. We have Laravel Breeze and Inertia. So Laravel Breeze in itself as a starter kit has a version of Inertia. So you can do Breeze install view or Breeze install even React, but view will come with Inertia. So we used that version of the Laravel Breeze starter kit to perform this one, but we have three themes, three visual design themes, and we improved those themes to add inertia-based pages. So if we choose Laravel Breeze and Inertia, there are three themes based on Tailwind and Breeze. And let's choose the first one, Windmill. It will install the files. You will need to run npm install and npm run dev, and I will show you the code how it works. Okay, so npm commands are successful, and if we dive into the code, here's how Routes Web looks like. So the default welcome page of Laravel is actually an inertia component, inertia render of welcome with the parameters of some variables. So if you go to welcome.view, here's how it looks. Default Laravel homepage with some parameters. So for example, v if can register, route login, page props auth user. And if you're not familiar with how inertia works, I have a separate video on specifically Laravel Breeze and inertia. So I will link that in the description below. But basically all the pages are inertia components. So in Routes Web, you have inertia render for the homepage, then inertia render for the dashboard, which looks like this. So dashboard view, it also uses Breeze authenticated layout as from Laravel Breeze. So nothing really fancy on this page, it's just you're logged in. And if we actually launch the homepage, so here's the homepage and what you get generally with inertia, it's single page application. So if we go to register or login link, it's instant. It's not refreshing the full page. It's loading the inner part of the page. And for example, if you click already registered, it's instant, almost instant. So if we try to register with fake filler Chrome extension, I register and see how fast it is to load. Of course, the page is really not heavy, so it's loading faster just because of that. But still, let's browse through the links. So users table, we click, it's almost instant. So this is the single page application approach with Inertia. And for example, users table, it's actually a user's controller. So Inertia is Vue.js components, but without view router. So in the web PHP, you have users controller or user controller index. Then it gets the data with user paginate, but the result is not the view file. It's not the blade file, but Inertia file users index which looks like index.view, template header, and then all the things like in Blade, but with variables in a different way with Vue.js for each users in users data. So what also is done by inertia, it takes care of the parameters of the variables. So those variables like this one, they are passed kind of to the Blade. So the same way they pass that to the inertia component like this one, and then you can use them as Vue.js variables. So yeah, try it out. Try new Lara Starters version 1.2 with Breeze. And also, if you're not familiar with Inertia, coincidentally, Jeffrey Way has just finished the new course on Laracasts about Inertia. So here's the tweet, and I will link the course in the description below. It's free, it's public. So even if you're not Laracast customer, you can watch build modern Laravel apps with Inertia.js. What do you think? Have you used Inertia? Or will you use it in the future? Shoot in the comments below. And see you guys in other videos.